Now that we have all of the essential information from our citation, we need to start on the library's website to decide which tool is the best one for finding the article. Usually, you can search for an article in the discovery layer, which is the all search box on the home page of the library. However, this is not the best tool or the right tool for finding a journal. Instead of searching here, we are going to use the other ways to search and select Journal Finder. The Journal Finder is a different search tool, so it will open and present you with a different search box. From here, we need to put in the information that we have found so far. We know that we are looking for PLOS Biology. That was from the citation. So we've searched for PLOS and it has come up along with information about where we can find this journal. So there are several different databases and repositories where we can find this journal in full text. So the first option that you'll see is for the directory of open access journals. This is where a number of different journals that are freely available can be found. However, we also have access to this journal in PubMed Central, Academic Search Ultimate, ProQuest Central, SciTech Premium Collection, and all the rest. Everything that is linked in blue is a location where we can find this journal in full text. Next to the database name and link, you will see a range of publication. This tells you the years that you can find within that collection. For PubMed Central, we can find this article from 2003 up to the present in that database. We can also find it in the next three databases from 2003 to present. Underneath that, the next three databases are from 2006 to present. All we need to keep in mind is that we need our journal to be available from the year our citation indicated. So our citation year was 2021. So we're going to select any that give us access up to the present. I'm going to search in Academic Search Ultimate. So I'm going to click on that link. From here, we can see that we have the publication information. This gives us all of the information about the journal. So we can get a little description. We can get directly to the publisher's website. We can also see our full text options. This tells us again what we have in full text, which means that we will get the articles. It also tells us that this is a peer reviewed journal, which is really important for us to know. One way to find the article from the publication page for PLOS Biology is to check the all issues and articles and to match it with the year from our citation. Our citation told us it was 2021. So when I select 2021 from the list, it expands and gives me all of the issues that were published in 2021, along with the volume numbers. Now the citation that we have is actually a little incomplete for this strategy. It doesn't give us the exact issue number in the citation. We just have the volume number. And as you can see, there are a lot of issues that were published within volume 19. So instead of using this strategy, I'm going to minimize and I'm going to go over to the search within this publication link, which appears right above the publication details for PLOS Biology. I'm clicking on the link and it's going to start a new search for me in the database and you'll, it'll tell us that it's searching journal plus biology. In the second box, I'm going to add in the title of the article. So we know it's anti-science kills and we'll start there. I'm going to put it in quotes just to force it to give me the exact phrase. And there's the article, anti-science kills from Soviet embrace of pseudoscience to accelerated attacks on US biomedicine. So I can click on the article and we have the full abstract now, which tells us all about the uh, coverage of the article, what it's going to discuss. And it gives us some subject terms that we could use if we wanted to find more articles about pseudoscience or COVID-19 or any of the other subjects that have been identified. We can also see all of the citation information that we used in order to find this article. We 
found the journal, we identified it, we searched for the journal, and then we had the year, we have the author, P.J. Hotez, Peter J., and we have our volume and issue numbers. So even though the issue wasn't included in the citation, we did have volume 19. Now all I need to do is click on PDF full text and it will load and I have a full, complete scientific article with citations that I can use for my research. So again, this was backwards searching. We found the citation and then we went searching for it in the library's databases using the journal locator.